The huge call that could rock blues as Freddie weighs up Suali I gamble. The New South Wales Blues are in a state of flux as a combination of form, injuries and eligibility arguments dominate the headlines leading into the all-important Origin 2 team announcements on Sunday. The Blues are poised to head in a different direction in terms of back rows Tariq Sims and Ryan Madison based on form while on the injury front Latrell Mitchell's availability has also become a major storyline the South Sydney Rabbitohs, having spent $70,000 sending Mitchell to the US for a specialised rehabilitation program, are putting all sorts of pressure on the Blues to refrain from selecting Mitchell for Origin 2 in Perth. Mitchell was back training at Redfern Oval on Monday but after a week off with Covid was a long way from the destructive game-breaker who dominated last year's State of Origin series. Can the Blues afford to risk picking Mitchell after only just returning from Covid and a two-and-a-half-month injury layoff? What will determine Mitchell's availability will be whatever transpires in a conversation between the South Sydney star and Blues coach Brad Fittler. The next pickle for the Blues revolves around the soon-to-be-announced Tongan squad for the test match against New Zealand with Daniel Tupo, Kodanai Staggs and Haumol Olakauatu Olakauatu, all believed to be all but guaranteed selections for Tonga. This then means in the case of Tupo and Staggs they are going to have a major decision to make in terms of who they're going to represent. The other selection surprise the Blues are believed to be strongly entertaining is including 18-year-old sensation Joseph Sualiai in the New South Wales 17. The Roosters' young gun made the extended squad last time but his form in the NRL has been simply irresistible and he is believed to be firmly in the frame to make the side. Fellow Rooster Angus Crichton is also back on the radar after a strong performance against the Melbourne Storm and the same goes for the Axe Bulldogs flyer Josh Adokar who has scored five tries in two games since his Origin I mission the Blues have been 1-0 down in the series previously under Fittler's regime and found the answers to come back and win the series but this time around the task seems an even more monumental challenge. The immediate focus will be selecting the right side to try and win Origin 2 in Perth. In the NRL, how bad were the Parramatta Eels on Monday? I genuinely believe this was best chance the blue and gold roster had of ending a premiership drought dating all the way back to 1986. Victories over Melbourne in Melbourne and Penrith at Penrith only further underlined their credentials. But to have 34 points put on them by a Bulldogs side which had only won two games all season calls for a major reassessment. Sure the big end of season games are still three months away but the way the Eels simply fail to show up at the races against Canterbury Bankstown shows there is a mental fragility in the roster. Who do you think the Blues should pick for Origin 2? And what did you think of the Bulldogs outstanding win over arch rivals Parramatta?